Hey guys, so I'm just lounging in my uh, plant space at the moment, kind of taking inventory, taking a look at my plants and seeing what I need to get accomplished in the next like hour or so. And um, there are a couple things that I wanna do. Um, one being repotting my uh, decursiva. Um, it just doesn't seem that happy right now, and I think by switching up um, the soil mix and the soil composition in the pot, that uh, that might just help. And then my, um, I have another philodendron, like a vining philodendron, that I want to repot as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, uh, you know, stick around. And uh, oh yeah, in other news. Um, if you've seen recently, I started styling uh, the space and um, picked up a whole bunch of cool items, um, some highs and lows. And let me show you kind of where I'm at with um, the whole sort of like the dining table and all of that space. Um, I have it kind of styled and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, this whole table area is really coming Together, I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, my oxalis, so I got this cool scale. Um, sorry, the skylight and the sun's changing all outside, so uh, the lighting, you know, changes pretty rapidly in here, but hopefully you guys can see okay. So I got this cool scale, put my fishbone cactus on it with um, the my neon pothos. Um, Behind here, oh, the light's hitting that really cool right now, is my um, Hey Eye. Uh, that was a new find from uh, a plant haul I did at Costco. And then on this side, I'm trying to get the lighting right. Aren't these cool, these clutches? Guys, believe it or not, I have two um, emeralds that are, you know, coming alive so a little bit early but you know i have quite a few of the emeralds bulbs so i'm actually kind of looking forward to those flowers coming in in the next i guess about a month or two um this is looking fantastic here so overall just kind of really happy it just kind of sets up uh, my filming space uh, really nicely and I have so much more styling to do but uh, that will come in time but yeah what do you guys think about how this is kind of looking right now step back so you can get a better look I'm really happy with it I think it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah I'm sure it can only get better So this is the decursiva. Some of these lower leaves look like they're lightening, you know, they're lightening up in terms of like the darkness of the color that they're supposed to be. So it's in this pot right now. And I don't know, I just feel like I need to repot this plant so that it is happier um than it currently is Here, let me just fix this yeah. all right there we go so yeah i'm gonna repot this i feel like the soil mix could be a little bit looser and you know less compact um so and it's kind of in a small container and um i've said this a few times before but i've read that they have like a deep uh, long root system and really appreciate like a deeper pot. So um, I think I'm gonna use this. It's definitely a lot deeper, but it's probably a little bit too wide um, compared to what I have. This is probably at least like a 10 inch uh, pot, whereas I have it in like probably like a five inch pot right now. But I do have like the smaller seven inch um, nursery pot so I can put this right in here um, and I think that should work well and I'll probably keep the bamboo stick uh, so I mixed up um, ooh, some potting mix already uh, which I think will work um, so let me show you guys see if you can see this so there's a lot kind of going on in this 
perlite, uh, horticultural charcoal, um, peat moss, cocoa coir, lots of bark, um, some indoor potting soil mix. I think that's it. Anyways, I did equal parts of everything with maybe a little bit of extra bark just to help it keep it really sort of, did I say peat moss? There's peat moss in here too. Um, keep it all nice and loose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put some into this um, nursery pot and then transplant this over and hopefully this makes this decursiva happier. Um, it did, since getting it, it like grew, I don't know, like eight inches before putting out new leaves. And I don't know why. So I'm trying to figure that out. And one thing I want to do is repot it and see if it's happier that way. So let's hope this works. show you what I mean by the growth. Alright. So, I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, there you go. So, like, all of the space where my hand is in between here and here, there's, like, a huge gap in growth. So, I'm trying to figure out why that is. And maybe by repotting it, that might help. So let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah, it's super tight in there. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab something to kind of loosen the soil. Like a chopstick or something. Just grab some chopsticks just to kind of it's, I'm surprised how snug it is so I think yeah repotting this is definitely a good idea all right so I put everything um, aside Let's see if you can see it behind me um, because uh, I'm changing direction I think I'm going to um, use the rest of the sphagnum moss that I have and this wiring and create like a proper moss pool for this decursiva um, and I might actually just get rid of the whole nursery pot idea um, so that I have the terracotta pot and more space to install the moss pool. So um, I got my trusty wire cutters. Um, I'm going to cut the um, this wire into two pieces so that I can make probably like a four foot um, high moss pole. I don't have that much sphagnum moss left, so it's gonna be super skinny, but that's okay. Um, I think this will be a lot better. So um, I know this is a vlog, but I'm gonna put the camera off and just like, you know, mad dash and cut this, get this uh, moss pole made. I'll be right back. All right, that wasn't so bad actually. So let me show you. Um, I cut the two, or cut one piece to match the size of the other piece, kind of overlap them. Now I'm just gonna throw in the sphagnum moss, um, connect uh, both sides of this, and then that's the moss pool done. Yeah, so it's messy AF, so make sure um, you have your vacuum nearby. Uh, so got the sphagnum moss. <sighs> Uh, positioned now I just got to kind of push it all down and close it up so be right back 
So you can spend hours wrestling with your mouse pole and needle nose pliers, um, but this should do the trick. It's not perfect, but um, it's a moss pull nonetheless, so I'm not going to, you know, curl over each individual wire. No thanks, but um, it's holding the sphagnum moss, and yeah, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did uh, just quickly rinse the sphagnum moss with some, uh, obviously with some water. It just makes it a lot more manageable, um, but that didn't take that much time actually, so... Here you go, this is basically my messy moss bowl. And um, yeah, I'm going to get the pot and the plant back on this table so that I can put it all together. All right, so I'm just adding the soil mix around the moss pool to hopefully stabilize that. Let's see here. Yeah, not bad. All right, so yeah, this should work. I just need to go make some more soil mix. Um, so let me go grab uh, some more of that because I finished that. And then I'll show you what it looks like. I think this is gonna look so much better uh, when it's all said and done. So I just mixed up some more soil mix. Ooh. Just gotta mix this up and then put that in. All right, I'm gonna use some of this Velcro uh, tape to kind of help position this the way I want it before it finishing all of, finishing to add all of the, um, it's not being cooperative. All right, there we go. You guys can see this very well. Just added that there. I'm gonna add a couple more um, all the way up, um, just so um, just kind of stays in place a lot better. There we go. Snip. That was something. All right, so now can finish adding the soil to um, the pot. This probably needs to come up a slight bit, but uh, 
yeah, this is kind of looking cool. So happy with how this is turning out. Let's see if I can finish this. Ooh. I did do a whole video on moss pole um, creation and kind of go through more step-by-step -step everything, all the tools you'll need and you know how to do it. But uh, I mean, it's pretty easy. Wow, I think this is actually just like the perfect right amount of soil. Okay, so I think that's worked out. Uh, let me know what you think. So, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but um, tied it up a few times along uh, the way. So, not much space of a moss pool left, but um, I am left with a little bit of uh, wiring left so I could always make it taller. Got rid of the nursery pot idea because um, I need the space with this bigger pot with the um, the moss pool obviously. But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give it a little bit of water and then find somewhere for it to live. All right, now for the fun part, I'm just watering the top of the moss pool. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, so it's a good idea to keep the sphagnum moss like nice and moist, which you know you'll need to do um, every couple of days. But uh, I think my decursiva is going to be much happier in this new home. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit low energy today. Just the gym was tough yesterday, and I'm kind of like my body sore. I'm just tired, but you know, making it work. Um, I did want to pot up um, something else, but I don't know, maybe this is enough for now, we'll see. Mm, tidying up is the worst part. Well, I have to say that turned out differently than I was thinking it was going to, but I think it all worked out in the end. See how the leaves are lighter? That's what I was talking about. It's supposed to be like, a bluey green deep color like these that one looks like more normal so I don't know why those are lightening up maybe over watering or the water wasn't passing through enough and then see there's like this huge gap and then finally uh, some new growth and new leaves but no splits uh, just yet but let's hope that this makes a difference I really hope so. Well, I know I wanted to accomplish a lot more than that, but is that bad if I just stop now with this? I think that's what I'm like, you know, able to do at the moment. So um, I gotta go eat something, I'm starved. Um, gotta go get ready for CrossFit. But yeah, I think that kind of turned out um, a lot better than I was expecting. The wiring and moss pole kind of like, you know, did me in, but I think my decursiva is going to be way happier. Um, anyways, that's it for this vlog. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.